One minute ago, Mount Etna's southeastern flank slid another two millimeters, on a path scientists can't yet explain. Beneath Sicily, new radar and seismic scans reveal a sprawling magma highway, stretching outwards, pressurizing deep roots, and stirring unexpected movement. Why is Europe's most active volcano shifting laterally, not just erupting skyward? The consequences could reach far beyond its summit. Here's what scientists are seeing, and what might happen next. Across Etna's flanks, the ground is shifting in ways that defy old expectations. High-resolution radar from Sentinel-1 and Cosmosky Med satellites now tracks every subtle movement. Over the last five months, cumulative displacement maps reveal a stark reality. The southeastern slopes have crept outward by 12 to 14 centimeters, far more than the usual background creep. These aren't isolated twitches. Instead, a broad front of motion fans out along mapped fault lines like the Pernicana and Tempe systems, with bursts of slip reaching 4 centimeters in just 10 days during the February eruption. GNSS stations perched on the eastern slope, such as Bouvier and PZGN, confirm the story. Their data show sharp velocity spikes, up to 55 millimeters in three weeks, coinciding with eruptive phases. Even the coastal blocks, once thought to be stable, have now decoupled and slid seaward during these episodes. INSAR time-lapse sequences lay out the pattern. Slow, persistent inflation at the summit, then stepwise advances racing down the flanks. Each episode leaves a permanent mark, ratcheting the slope further east, never quite resetting to zero. Analysts at INGV Catania pour over these numbers, measuring not just the distance moved, but the acceleration and timing. They're watching a surface that refuses to sit still, one that's not waiting for the next eruption, but already on the move. The sheer scale and speed of these recent shifts demand a deeper explanation. Something beneath the surface is driving the mountain sideways, and the instruments are recording every millimeter. Deep beneath Atana's restless slopes, seismic tomography has mapped a labyrinth of molten rock. The volcano's interior is not a single chamber, but a stack of reservoirs, each sitting at a different depth. At the base, nearly 11 kilometers down, lies the main magma reservoir an immense pressurized pool that feeds everything above. Rising from this source, branching corridors of melt climb through the crust, splitting into secondary pockets between two and seven kilometers deep. These mid-level stores aren't static. They expand and contract, channeling magma laterally as well as upward, sometimes forming new dike branches in response to shifting pressure. Closer to the surface, a tangled web of sills and dikes weaves through the upper two kilometers of rock. This shallow network connects directly to the summit and, crucially, to the volcano's unstable flanks. During the February 2025 eruption, tomography and magnetotelluric imaging captured the rapid inflation of these upper channels. Pressure readings and relocated earthquake swarms pointed to sudden magma injections, bursts that drove the ground outward by as much as 2-3 to three millimeters per day in the most active zones. The pattern is not one of smooth, steady ascent. Instead, magma pulses through the system in fits and starts, exploiting weaknesses in the crust. Each surge builds tension along the branching corridors, with overpressures measured at 20 to 60 megapascals in the main dike zones. The seismic imaging team at INGV describes it as a dynamic, ever-changing network, more like a shifting maze than a highway. This architecture enables Etna's flanks to slide, not just from gravity, but from the relentless sideways push of magma threading through the mountain's roots. Pressure inside Etna doesn't just build upward, it pushes sideways, threading through the mountain's fractured base. As magma forces its way into sills and dikes beneath the flanks, it acts like a hydraulic wedge, prying open ancient fault lines and driving the rock apart. These intrusions don't simply inflate the summit, they redistribute force laterally, loading the southeastern and southern slopes with new stress. 
Each pulse of magma feeds a slow-motion tug of war between the volcano's mass and the weakened layers beneath. Geophysical models from INGV Catania show that Etna's southeastern base rests on a thick, clay-rich detachment zone, a natural slip plain lubricated by groundwater and soft sediments. When pressurized magma enters this zone, it can trigger episodes of sliding, sometimes in bursts of several centimeters within days. The Pernicana and Timpe fault systems, already mapped as high-risk corridors, respond immediately, channeling the movement down toward the Ionian coast. Regional tectonics add another layer of complexity. The Calabrian Arc, where the African plate dives beneath Eurasia, constantly flexes the crust beneath Sicily. This ongoing collision creates a dynamic stress field that couples with Etna's own magmatic forces, amplifying the risk of instability. It's not just gravity or eruption that moves the flanks, it's a combination of sideways magma pressure, tectonic stretching, and the mechanical weakness of the volcano's base. Researchers describe this as a system primed for motion. With each intrusion, the balance shifts further, making the southeast flank especially vulnerable to both slow creep and sudden slips. The evidence points to a volcano whose hazards are not confined to the summit, but are distributed along hidden corridors deep below the surface. A surge of long-period tremor now thrums beneath Etna's slopes, echoing through the volcano's fractured interior. In early 2025, seismic stations recorded a sharp rise. LP event rates more than doubled, with daily counts climbing above 85 as winter gave way to February's eruption. These tremors, low and resonant, are the signature of magma forcing its way through brittle rock. They cluster at night, peaking in the hours before each new fissure opens, and are strongest along the southeastern flank the very sector where ground movement is most pronounced. RMS amplitudes hit 2.8 millimeters per second, the highest in over a decade, while dense packets of tremor ripple through the summit and out toward Zafirana at Nea. INGV scientists describe it as a pulse through the crust, each burst a warning from below that pressure is building, that the volcano's internal pathways are shifting. These signals carry the weight of history. Etna's past is written in layers of ash and buried scars, none more vivid than the 1669 fissure eruption. That spring, a sudden flank break unleashed a torrent of lava, engulfing villages and stopping just short of Catania's city walls. The land itself split open, not at the summit, but far down the southern slopes. Offshore marine sediment cores reveal thick deposits of volcanic debris, silent evidence of ancient collapses that once sent tsunamis racing across the Ionian Sea. Each layer is a record of instability, proof that Etna's flanks have failed before and could again. Yet, context matters. These events unfold on geologic timescales. Most signals now point to slow deformation and gradual reorganization, not imminent disaster. But the chorus of tremor and the memory of past slides remind scientists and residents alike. Etna's greatest risks are not always at the summit, and the mountain's next move may come from below or from the side. A sudden spike in sulfur dioxide changed the conversation at INGV Catania. On February 10, 2025, summit sensors recorded sulfur dioxide emissions soaring past 8,500 tons per day, over four times the seasonal baseline. Thermal satellite sweeps showed expanding hot zones along the southeast crater and lower flanks, where surface temperatures climbed by 6 to 9 degrees Celsius above average. These gas and heat surges don't just hint at shallow magma, they confirm it. The volcano's degassing pattern is shifting, with new vias releasing more gas, more often, and in unexpected places. INGV's gas team describes the current signal as restless and reorganizing, a system no longer following its usual script. When heat, gas, and ground motion all accelerate together, the risk is no longer theoretical. If magma keeps moving sideways, 
New Vyansk could open far from the summit, where people live and work. Tens of thousands of people live in the path of Etna's next possible move. Zafirana Etnea, with nearly 9,400 residents, sits closest to the southeast hazard zone. Pedara and Nicolosi, together, add over 22,000 more, their streets and fields woven into the volcano's fertile lower slopes. Civil protection teams here rehearse evacuation drills, but even the best plans depend on early warning. That's where the new machine learning pilot comes in. At INGV Catania's control room, algorithms now scan live feeds from satellites, seismic arrays, and gas monitors, searching for hidden patterns. The system flagged the June eruption a day ahead of visible signs, but it also raised false alarms, roughly one in eight alerts. Experts weigh each signal, knowing that no model can capture every scenario. The future could bring a quiet return to steady eruptions, or sudden vent openings in inhabited zones. For these communities, vigilance is a daily reality, shaped by both tradition and technology. Since October 2024, Mount Etna's southeastern flank has shifted by more than 12 centimeters more than any period in the last decade. High-resolution INSEAR and seismic tomography confirm that magma is migrating laterally beneath the volcano, not just rising to the summit. Scientists have documented a spike in sulfur dioxide emissions, 8,500 tons per day in January 2025, and a marked increase in long-period tremor both signs of pressurized magma closer to the surface. Yet, the exact pathways of these underground movements, and which areas remain most at risk, are not fully understood. The 1669 eruption showed that Etna's flank activity can reach populated zones, and today, over 100,000 people live on the slopes in towns like Zafirana Etnea and Nicolosi. Agencies now monitor not only summit signals, but also ground motion, gas spikes, and tremor patterns across the flanks. While Etna's next move cannot be predicted with certainty, the evidence is clear. The volcano's interior is evolving, and vigilance is essential. Residents and scientists alike continue to watch for the early warnings that the mountain's shifting heart provides.